Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today I'm getting to a video that I should have gotten to a while back. I think it kind of came out at a bad time, slipped me by, and then I forgot. And that is a mistake I want to amend. This is the Sisters Prologue 2 from Optic Spectrum. If you do not know or do not remember the Sisters Prologue, firstly, go watch it. It's a short, atmospheric conversation between Celestia and Luna when they were children, foreshadowing the eventual betrayal and battle of the two sisters, by them directly addressing it in a playful conversation, but showing off Luna's insecurities in the process. It was a very fresh little animation from Optic Spectrum back then, and seeing that style in Bronies 2019 jogged my memory, and I knew I had to watch it, uh, but I don't know anything about it. The title tells me that they changed voice actors, it's still about Celestia and Luna as kids, and by the length, this one's much more ambitious, it's over three times the size of the original. That's basically the extent of my knowledge, and I'm very excited because the original showed a lot of potential with some low-key dialogue and nuanced emotion. If he expanded on that with a story arc and a bigger scale, this could be a pretty special video. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's perhaps watch the end of the beginning. Alright. The white light Celestia sees when Luna kills her. Burying treasures again? Ah, child labor. I keep telling you, one day ponies will hunt for my treasures all over Equestria. <laughs> I'll be the Easter Bunny. Don't you think it lessens the value the more treasures you bury? At least I got better things to do. What is it you always do again? Lie on the ground and talk about how much you want to embrace the moon? <laughs> oh, that's foreshadowing, kids. I can see it right before my eyes. You're just jealous because you can never embrace the sun. Dumb Plus, sun I butt. Have one treasure. It's my most valuable treasure. <laughs> Tease. You keep saying that, but you never tell me what it's it is. It's my butt tattoo. I'm find out, Luna. I promise. <laughs> the more mysterious it is, the more value it adds, right? It's the elements of harmony. It's your mother. Ooh. Okay. We're getting some... It's a multiple act structure? Holy cow. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Oh, straight up hospital. What? Food? Let's go get something to bite. Modern building design. Okay. Don't worry. Mom hasn't moved in a week. I'm sure she'll be fine. That? <sighs> I'll go get you some soup, okay? That does not I'll instill confidence, that. that statement, in me or in Luna. Read the room, <laughs> Celestia. <laughs> Mom? Mom, it's me, Luna. Uh, Celestia? Luna, Mom! It's oh, Luna. no. Sally? No, Mom, it's... What? What? That was... Fast? Luna? Luna, what happened? Where's Mom? Very sudden. She's gone. Uh when? How did she... Jesus, no punches pulled here. Did she wake up? Did she say anything? No. No. Oh, man. I don't think Celestia will ever verify that or not. Unless Luna yells it at her when she becomes Nightmare Moon. That'd probably set her over the edge. Well, this is just a very happy video so far, isn't it? Your stories better be good. It's a very complex spell. It'll take a decade The problem to... is that the more we wait, the farther it gets out of our reach. Do you even know what it is that was stolen? Everlasting Are they night. trying the... spell, when conjured, stops the sun from ever rising again. What is the again? most dangerous... Oh, the okay. The last spell that was written by our mother, sis. I thought they were trying to Full Metal so Alchemist this. Like the way you. Ooh. Oh boy, so someone stole the the night spell. Didn't he get it back? But Luna's gonna use it once she snaps. I just came here to ask if you could tell your night guards to scout at midnight. They must travel at night to keep a low profile. Now you're telling me what to do. 
How about I tell you to get oh. out of my sight? Oh, no. I'll handle my own guards. Man, she's at a... Had they grow up? Hey, we'll find it, okay? Go! Being the child in the background, and now her mom's spell got stolen. Apparently Celestia's uh, lack of oversight. Oh, she just wanted to be important. She wants people to like her. Oh, okay. It was all a ploy. A trick. Tricksy hobbit says. I knew she'd have it uh, by the end. Either way, because I've watched G4. Oh, I've seen the premiere. Well, guess I went to the dark side, huh? Oh! I just want to say, it wasn't your fault. I've let my own jealousy and hate get the best of me. This is a full... I should have known better. Multi-decade epic. terrible sister to you, and I don't deserve any of the love and care you've given me. The first video was a prologue to this video. It was... Some prologue exception. I'm sorry, but I couldn't do anything to stop myself. She's bashing her head against the castle. Please, sister, take me to the moon. Oh, okay. Oh, this is like a- But don't feel bad. I can finally embrace the moon, sis. <laughs> Cop assisted suicide? While I'm gone, promise me that you'll never stop caring for our friends. Promise me to continue smiling as you- I would like- Son, promise me to never do what I did. It'd be amazing to get, like, the story leading up to this. I'll come back. Revelation. I'll come back someday. The first snapping and to then realizing. Luna. My most valuable I'll, treasure. I'll get you back down here, okay? I'll get you back down. Just please don't do this to me. Don't leave me. Please don't. Please. The voice acting here is really good. Was that the plan the entire time to be sent to the moon? Or was that... Her coming to her senses after committing the act. Treasure. Celestia just... Was the treasure the element? Well, she used the elements against her, so... What was it? But she just sent her treasure, her real treasure, to the moon. You can replace all the trinkets you want. You can't replace that. What did she bury? It's an everlasting sun spell. Fate has been cruel. Well, you shouldn't read at this hour. You might get blurry eyes. Who needs to really oh. believe that? Well, you're going to miss the sunrise. Oh, so she sounds so up. tiny. Have you read this before? The eldest used her unicorn powers to raise the sun. The younger brought out the moon. Oh my god! The younger unicorn refused to lower the moon. <laughs> it's just a tiny twilight! Some poetic writing. <laughs> so tell me, Twilight, how would you have written it? I'm more of a reader, not much of a writer, but I would write... She just learned how to read. The end. The two sisters lived in harmony for generations on end. Oh. One memorable day, they let a sad conflict with the best of them. The older one had oh, wow. no choice but to banish her own sister. The younger one felt anger as she is overpowered by the element of harmony. Twilight's been planning this speech for some time. The younger sister had wished for this ever since their fight started. Take me to the moon, she says. Right before she would vanish, she asked that her sister continue to make friends. Twilight. I like this peppy song in the back. She continue to smile as she raises the sun. Twilight. And if she keeps these words, <laughs> she will return Luna. to her most oh my God. valuable treasure. <laughs> I like that. Man, oh, Twilight. Luna. How could you leave me in a world? Such an old soul in that tiny thing. body. A world without you is a world where happiness is not out. If mom was if mom's here, here you'd oh, be magpie, you're <laughs> nailing that. Don't worry, I'll come back. I promise. Yeah, she'll come back. I will keep my promise if you keep yours. I will wait for your return. 
even if it takes a thousand years. Oh. Until then, Luna. <laughs> It'll be sooner than you know. Won't take that long unless this is happening. And happily ever after. Literally right after I she banished her. The sister's prologue. Ah. Ah, this is all Twilight's fanfic. That's what this is. We all led up to that revelation. It's non canonical. It's all in Book Horse's head. That's how it really happened, according to the new princess of Equestria, and therefore, by law, it's actual history. That was a roller coaster. I, I like the music choices. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Sisters Prologue 2 from Optic Spectrum, and wow, what a ride that one was. A full four-act structure of kinship, loss, anger, betrayal, forgiveness, tiny twilight. I appreciate that it just went for the heart immediately and then just kept pounding away. It read like the cliff notes or best of version of a longer video, throwing all the dramatic peaks at us for non-stop feels. And I will say in that way it kind of shortchanges them, robs them of some of their impact. But the use of audio and visuals capitalizes on their potential with the time we are allotted. He made great use of his time and his assets for the scale of this project. His music choices flowed well with the tone. I love his visual style, the characters are always cute, and the sad eyes he makes are really affecting. It's a pretty dynamic video, each act with a different setting so different backgrounds were needed. The camera cuts frequently, a lot of close-ups on the faces. Good job of avoiding stagnation for a dialogue-heavy video like this. A few particularly nice shots and some fun lighting in there as well. And we even got a small action scene between the two sisters, that's pretty hype. And because this was a prologue, because it's telling a story we all know and leading up to the story that we all know, cutting those corners, just leaving us those core moments is fine. It doesn't need to develop characters from the ground up, it just needs to present these events in ways that we've not seen before. And Spectrum totally did a cool job with that. But I think my favorite parts are the ones that are brand new. The first two acts here, as well as the original prologue video. The world building of the two princesses as children, insights into their personalities when they were growing up, the different relationships with their mother, the timing of her death, and the circumstances around the night spell. To me, that material is interesting in a more powerful way, in how it contextualizes the events leading up to the big thing. Not to say he didn't also add his own spin when we got to the fight, what with Luna's sacrifice, but I do think the time crunch hurt that act a little more than the others. And I honestly could have watched a 9 minute video of them before the fight even happened, just taking the time to flesh out that backstory. And that's not what this video is, and that's fine. It ambitiously mixed together the history we knew with this original material in a coherent and affecting way, all while sounding good and looking good. And also he used a track from Made in Abyss in Act 3, I thought it sounded familiar. Uh, 100 points to Gryffindor for that one. Everyone watch Made in Abyss, please. Optic Spectrum, wonderful work here. I'm glad I finally saw it. Magpie, Chippa, Paint Song, great work. You're all princesses. Everyone else, go give Optic Spectrum some love. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, think about what your most valuable treasure really is.